Hey yo, what's going on my friends? This is Ken. Today's video, we are going to be uh, adding some 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter wheel spacers to the front of my car. We are also going to be adding some uh, rubber pieces to the inner wheel well of the two front tires. Uh, I'm recording over this video because I was actually going to change the front wheel hubs as you see there or that not the heel hu wheel hubs and the bearings but I realized after uh, recording all this that the actual uh, wheel hubs and bearings are a complete nightmare to install and I actually went on Rock Auto to order the new replacement front wheel hubs and bearings they, and they arrived at my door but they were the wrong kind I don't know if uh, Rock Auto is un, unaware of the type of wheel hubs but I went on Ninja Performance and they looked completely different so I went ahead and returned the two wheel hubs it cost me about $120 after shipping and they're going to go ahead and give me store credit which in turn, I will go ahead and with that money, I will go ahead and buy a brand new set of parking brakes, or rear parking brakes for the car. Uh, um, I'm also going to uh, lower the front end in this video. Um, you'll see how, how much better it looks. And my next video is going to be, hopefully once I get the parking brakes, I'm going to do a parking brake installation or replacement. Uh, new the coil eBay coilovers, and I'm going to install all the rubber pieces in the rear end and finish it up by lowering the rear end. So with that, hope you enjoy this video, and uh, take care. Okay, so um, for the first like 20 minutes I was trying to figure out how to put these spacers on I just got these spacers in the mail uh, these are 20 millimeters well, I'm just gonna do the fronts for now uh, if these look good I might wear some for the rear but for the first 20 minutes and I'll, uh, I'll put the clip on the back end of this video as like a blooper <laughs> I was trying to put the spacer directly here like this now realizing that you're actually supposed to put the rotor on first and put the, the spacer on the rotor. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out why is this spacer not fitting in the rotor in here, you know? I'm like, and I'm sitting there trying to figure out how, why, how is the brake caliper going to fit with the spacer on there? And I realized I went and watched a video and you're supposed to put these on the, you're supposed to put the, the rotor on first and then the spacer. <laughs> so that, that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do that and Cause I can't, we cannot wait to see what this car looks like when it's uh, lowered. So, okay, this is what the tire looks like. With this comes out like an inch. <laughs> so uh, I got that tire off. Um, something I wanted to deal with, I guess. Let's go look from the other side. It's really bright. I got my garage door open. It's gonna be hanging off just a little bit here. course I only put three nuts on it so and I think I have to readjust one of the, the bolts on the spacer because it's one of the bolts might be kind of touching the inside of the wheel but for the most part it's, it's the way it's going to be it's it's going to be sitting out a little bit let's see if I can see what it looks like from right here extra wide tire but unfortunately because these uh, these tires are 265 so they're they're really wide and these coilovers are you know, I probably could have got 10 millimeters I don't know we'll see I still think they look kind of cool with the tire hanging out like that <laughs> 
mean, it's going to be wide out here because the car starts to kind of veer off towards this way. So, I don't know. I think it'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it. Just as long as I can get it lowered. Once I get the car lowered, and then we'll, uh, we'll judge it. So, hopefully you guys can see that with the brightness. So now we are uh, taking the the plastic rubber pieces that I ordered off of Amazon about five months ago or so. Finally getting another use for these. Uh, this new piece here, hopefully you can see with the bright light. I took the old one off. As you can see it's all tore up right there in the corner. Um, thanks to Mark, I uh, got this new piece in here. It's all solid. It looks pretty good. It's gonna work. It's gonna work perfect in here, actually. So I'm gonna finish putting that on. Then I can. I'm gonna go ahead and then, uh, lower the coil over to where I want it. I'm actually gonna lower the spring more. I actually uh, this spring right here, this this bottom piece right here. I made that go up because uh, previously I couldn't. I had to lower it up or I had to raise it up to get the tire to fit. Now that I get the spacer, I can lower this back down and get a little bit more, make it less stiff, and I can just, I can uh, screw this whole thing up in there more. I can take take the bowl up here. This how you how you screw it. This bowl right here, and I can raise it, raise the tire all the way to the top here, even though it's going to be hanging out just a little bit. I mean, if it if it if it sticks up too much, I can always go ahead and uh, maybe get a 10 millimeter. That should fit. So. Hopefully you guys can see this okay with the super bright light right there. And on here, I got it all screwed in there real good. This, this new uh, weather piece in there, uh, basically bolted. I can't even see. Okay, I basically bolted. Uh, well, let's zoom back out. All the way at the top, there's a bolt up there. I had to use two sheet metal screws right here in the, on the end here. And I used the two, three uh, rubber pieces that you just, the plugs that you put right there and up there. And uh, basically complete, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the tire on now. Hopefully uh, I can get the tire to get in there real good. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the coil over, or I'm gonna raise the coil over up. Okay, <laughs> I just spent the last hour messing with this. Uh, so I'm going down to where the gap between the tire and the uh, fender is about one, one and three eighths on both sides. Uh, I figured out the issue with my coilovers. I couldn't get them lowered, but turns out if you like prop up the whole sh the whole knuckle and everything, that it's able to screw in better. This one, this side might be just about maybe an eighth of an inch lower than the other side I can always fix that um, I got the the black uh, weather strip or the weather piece in there the, the uh, guard or weather guard whatever you call it got that in there and I'm gonna go ahead and I got the wheels bolted uh, torqued no, not torqued on I got them tightened as far as I can get them and I'm gonna get them on the ground this way I can tighten them up all the way and if everything if everything seems fine, I'll go ahead and put my uh, my locking nuts on on each one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move everything out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna lower the car all the way down to the ground, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, car's so low, I can't get the jack out now. The tires are still like an inch above the ground, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get my other jack, I think, to to, to lift each side up perhaps and uh i'm gonna sell this propane or this kerosene and i'll get this i'll just go ahead and jack it up on the sides here hopefully and this will allow me to get the the jack out all right <laughs> as you can see it's too low now Way too low. Okay, I'm gonna obviously raise it up an inch or so. Let's 
size is a little bit better. Got some clearance there. Got to raise this up. That's too low. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so this is the, uh, it's actually the next day, morning, I just got off work. Um, you guys seen how low the car was, it was too low. Huh. I'll just want to show, show you what it looks like now. I'm actually, I'm, at, I'm uh, torquing the lug nuts up on, uh, I'm putting these, uh, the lock bolts, there's one lock for each wheel. So, you guys can see it is kind of right here, it's about, about a finger and a half. I'm going kind of low, only because I, I just like low, pro, low profile. This is about a finger and a half. This is about the same. I measured it. Uh, so, that looks pretty sharp. And with the wheel spacers, the 20 millimeter spacers, I'm going to leave a link to in the description. Um, the tires aren't, aren't out all that much. Maybe about, a, maybe about an inch. I'm kind of tell it's just a little bit there this one's seems like it's out just a little bit more but I don't know oh, that's pretty good nice nice wide profile let's get in the shade here so we can kind of look at our angle You know, I thought about like a wide body kit, but the, the the 3000 GTs are all already wide, so I think that'd be kind of silly. So much you guys think. It's a pretty easy process. Lowering lowering the uh, springs, the coilovers. These are the eBay coilovers. The uh, oh, what's the brand? It's that. Max speeding rods, about two hundred some dollars on eBay. Um, if you want me to leave a link uh, to those coilovers, now I've only I've already been driven driven driving the car for about three four hundred miles. So uh, on these coilover the front coilovers, and now I actually lowered the spring all the way down to where this, there's the maximum amount of uh, bounce in the spring. So before it was kind of stiff, but I don't know, it felt, it felt okay. But now, you know, oh, I can't wait to see what it's gonna be like with the, the spring all the way out, a maximum on spring. So. kind of weird this side over here the driver's side seems like it's out just a little bit more I wonder if it's because the wheels might be turned a little bit I don't know I might have to check it out here but so far I'm really liking it the the my lord it definitely gonna I might make a part two of the rear end I'm right now I'm waiting on the parking brakes I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a parking brake install on this this side there's a lot of gap there I don't like. And plus I got all the uh, the pieces inside here, the wheel well, plastic wheel well pieces I'm going to install too. So that's gonna be a whole nother video, like a part two. I got them all in here. Uh, some, I actually had to use some uh, regular real thick screws to uh, get this passenger side wheel well piece in there because the bolts we're kind of stripped. So, looks pretty sharp, I think. So. so, what do you guys think? I uh, got her all tightened down. Hopefully, this, uh, use my phone for a camera. So, hopefully, it's not so wobbly and stuff. Uh, I like it. I got the, the, the bolts all torqued down. I got my my gorilla bolt on there on both sides 
I just took it out the driveway and backing out at an angle, it did scrape just like barely scraped it on the bottom. But I think it'll get, it'll be better. If, maybe it'll get better once I lower that, that side too. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. And they're not, the tires aren't sticking out that bad. I think it looks pretty sharp. How much you guys think of the comments? How you like it? I like it. It's in the shade too, so. <laughs> it's pretty muscle, it's pretty, it looks pretty, uh, Muscly. <clears throat> oh, let's go ahead and start the car. It's hard to see out here. It's like. dark there we go there's some shade now we can see i'm gonna start working the rear and the back in the next day or two yeah so i went ahead and ordered i think i mentioned this i think i ordered uh uh 20 millimeter spacers for the rear too to kind of make it match. I kind of like these spacers. They uh, make the car look really wide and strong, you know? Uh, we'll see what's next. You know, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the rear. I'm gonna attempt to get the rear coilovers or the rear shocks off. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the rear end, literally. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to work on that next, and then I might go ahead and work on the system in here, my head, new head unit. I'm probably just going to find a head unit off of Facebook. I see, I noticed there's a lot of Kenwood doubled in radio uh, radios in the, for the front. And then I'll go ahead and I'll make a video on the... Uh, hooking up the, air, the stereo. It's gonna be. It's just a plug and play, really. And uh, the amps and the woof, the woofer and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care.